Hi there, it's Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another Rookie Mistake video. In the 1990s, Sun, Microsoft and others started promoting the idea of layered or multi-tier architectures for enterprise applications. Thousands of teams, heck, probably millions by now, have gotten into the habit of packaging their code into layers, separating view logic from control logic and control logic from domain logic, and domain logic from database operations. So a .NET or a Java enterprise team might put all of their views in one JAR file or one DLL, their controllers in another, and so on. I've nicknamed this style of packaging as the socks go in the sock drawer architecture. Layered architecture was sold on the basis that it provides us with a clean separation of concerns. And looking at the idealized version, we can be fooled into thinking that's true. But when we look at the actual dependencies between the layers, we see a different picture. The problem is that the views for a particular feature set use the controllers and the controllers use the views. And they use the model as well as the persistence operations that go with the model. And those persistence operations use the model too. When we package these modules up into layers, we get large amounts of coupling between the layers. So when we make a change to a module in one layer, we end up having to change a bunch of modules in other layers. The fun really starts when teams deploy layers separately, for example, as web services, and even assign layers to separate teams. Far from cleanly separated concerns, we end up with a distributed ball of mud where relatively simple changes to features require an order of magnitude more coordination across layers and teams. When organizations end up here, change gets a lot harder. What if instead we packaged modules not by layers, but by usage? What if we packaged winter scarves with woolly jumpers? or Hawaiian shirts with cargo shorts. Things that get used together tend to change together, and things that change together probably belong together. When we, map, we package our modules this way, we get an architecture made up of more cohesive and loosely coupled components. We get cleaner separation of concerns. And don't forget that most programming languages offer more than one way to organize code. In .NET, for example, we can group modules into assemblies for release, but inside the same assembly, we can also group them into folders and namespaces. So there's three degrees of freedom we can use to manage our dependencies and make sure our code's organization makes sense.